A luxury used car lot in Melbourne just closed after an Action 9 investigation found customers who sold cars on consignment were actually paid with bad checks. Yeah, and more victims are now coming forward, including some buyers who can't get titles to their cars. Action 9's Todd Ulrich found the dealership's manager already faced a massive federal fraud case and tracked him down at another business he just opened. Heather Fox fears her Chevy Trailblazer could be repossessed any day. She would never missed a payment, but since buying it at USA Auto and Lending in Melbourne, she can't get a permanent tag. No title exists for this vehicle, so I couldn't put my tag on it. She is one of at least 10 customers we found who bought cars here but can't get clear titles because the dealership didn't have a right to sell them. Am I going to keep the car or am I going to lose the car? That's what I deal with every day. We first exposed USA Auto after three customers told us they sold vehicles on consignment, then the dealership kept their cash. Rosalia Thomas lost $19,000. I mean, it just blew me away. I, I just couldn't believe it. Two weeks after our investigation first aired, the doors were locked, and then the lot was emptied of all the vehicles. Then, a month later, the Division of Motor Vehicles formally suspended the dealer's license. Tom Biddix had been its vice president, the same guy facing a $32 million federal fraud trial accused of diverting government funds. Before the lot closed, Biddix and his father opened this steakhouse in Vieira. Since he hasn't responded to any of our calls, we tried to find him at the restaurant. I'm here for Tom Biddix. Yeah, one second. Yeah. Sure. His truck was parked out back. Then a manager talked to me by cell and said he wasn't here. He hasn't returned our calls, and all his customers have lost a lot of money. Several customers filed complaints with state regulators and local police. Rosalia's 19,000. Have state investigators done anything to get that back? No. No. We do not matter. Now, several customers complained to the state last March, and their cases are still not resolved. One Palm Bay man filed against the dealer's bond, and he has recovered $15,000.